Okay. Yeah, I got this cool Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt on. Uh, of course, there's Raphael, Donatello, Leonardo, and Michelangelo. Anyway, um, last Tuesday, well, actually, this Tuesday, or anyway, every Tuesday, I go to the movies, and, um, I, uh, saw, uh, I saw Alien Romulus, and I saw Reagan, so I'm gonna do, um, movie reviews, um, Reagan is a good movie. It's a good biopic. Um, spoiler alert. He becomes president. And uh, lives a good life. He also, spoiler alert, becomes the governor of California. And the uh, movie pretty much did a good story of his life. And um, all that. Uh, it had some stuff from his early childhood. Had some stuff from his political career. It had some stuff from his uh, acting career, for, uh, where he was uh, leader of the SOG, and uh, some other things. It had him. The story was basically his mission, which would have been to uh, defeat communism, the uh, evil empire of communism uh, via the USSR. Um, it was told from a KGB officer slash communist member who um, was a big um, studier of Ronald Reagan and his career and exploits and everything who warned the KGB that this guy was going to be come the fall of the Soviet Empire. Um, it basically showed his, uh, major wins. It showed, you know, major key pivotal roles that happened because of, of course, during his life that caused him to want to fight and defeat communism. Uh, we have that same problem now, uh, with the modern Democrat Party, by the way, uh, the modern current Democrat Party is all for socialism, communism, and fascism. We done fought this before. We've already fought it with Hitler. We fought it with Stalin. We fought it with Russia. We fought it with the Nazis. We fought it with the Germans. We've we've done this. It's been done. It's failed. We're not a democracy. We're a republic. It, republic. So, vote Trump 2024. Anyway, for America. Um, unless you just want communism, socialism, Nazism, and fascism, which have already been defeated multiple times, when they gonna learn? When you liberals gonna learn? The Democrat Party is not even the Democrat Party anymore. It's the party of communism. This is not even the party of democracy anymore. It's party. I mean. The, Republican Party is the conservative party, is the party of the people, the party of the republic, the party of democracy now. Okay, anyway, Trump 2024. So Reagan, it was a pretty good movie, it was a real good movie, it was a great movie, it was an awesome movie. Uh, go see it, and uh, don't let them crazy libs, rolls and stuff, tell you that it's propaganda. Republican propaganda. No, there's stuff I didn't like about Reagan. There's stuff I did like about Reagan. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I can tell you one thing I didn't like about Reagan. I didn't like that when Reagan was governor of California, that he s signed into law a bill that violated black people, mainly the... Uh, original Black Panthers rights to bear arms. I didn't like that because clearly, in my opinion, it violates the Second Amendment because the Second Amendment, true constitutional parity, in my opinion, is um, unlimited guns, unlimited weapons, unlimited arms, unlimited 
everywhere. That's my opinion of the Second Amendment. We the people are the militia. If we the people are the press, according to the First Amendment, and that the Supreme Court has said that we the people are the press, what I'm doing right now is the press, and this is freedom of the press, freedom of speech, then we the people are also the militia. And if we the people are the militia, then we the people, as the militia, have the right to all arms anywhere in the United States ter territory. Period. Point blank. Straight up. That's true constitutional carry. Constitutional carry. True Second Amendment. Bam. We the people are militia. Anyway. So, that's one thing I didn't like about Reagan. I liked a lot of other things about Reagan. I like how he had a crusade against communism. Evils of communism! So, that's the thing I did, I did like about Reagan. It's a good biopic. It uh, displays everything great. Dennis Quaid does a great job at playing Ronald Reagan. Um, he, uh, yeah, so go see it. And the, the theater was pretty packed. I mean, not like wall-to-wall -wall packed where you know there wasn't seats in between people, but it was pretty packed. And they had all kinds of people going to see Reagan. Um... They had black people going to see Reagan. They had white people going to see Reagan. They had young people going to see Reagan. They had old people going to see Reagan. They probably had Democrats in there. <gasps> they had Republicans in there. I'm pretty sure they had conservatives. Uh, I'm pretty sure they had some liberals in, uh, in there too. And I think everybody uh, may even had some libertarians in there. And everybody was, uh, you know, everybody seemed to enjoy the show that was in of Reagan. So that's the movie review of Reagan. Go see it. I recommend it. It's awesome. And, uh, uh, they should do more presidential bio, bio ops of more up to date modern presidents, you know, instead of like all the ones we already know about, you know, we got, we got enough of our original founding father presidents. We don't have enough of, you know, the current presidents or the modern era presidents. We got a whole lot of movies about the World War One and World War Two and stuff like that, but we don't have movies in much about the actual president of that. We have a lot of movies about the Civil War and plenty of movies about Lincoln. We have a lot of movies about American Revolution and plenty of movies about George Washington. But we don't have movies about, like... The presidents. So there's some of the movies, presidents. We've had a lot of presidents that they don't even have movies about. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just saying. Anyway, they should. It's like certain presidents get, you know, the good stuff, but the other presidents don't get none. That's not fair. Make movies of all the presidents, especially ones we ain't had no movies about yet. Yeah. And if. Um, Reagan, an actor, can become governor and president. Then Donald Trump, a businessman, a mogul, uh, a uh, developer, real estate mogul and developer, is worthy of the same thing. So, vote Trump 2024. For America and make America great again and stop the evils of communism and socialism and fascism that the Democratic Party is trying to back, even though they're trying to claim that Republicans and MAGA people are the Democrats, the fascists, and the communists. <laughs> nope, they're the ones that are being fascist and socialist and communist. They're the real Nazis, not the Magas. Anyway, have a great day, and remember, God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Jesus loves Jesus, God, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, King. Jesus is real everything. And uh, comment down below which Teenage Mutant and Ninja Turtle is your favorite. And uh, who you gonna vote for? Please, for. 
all of our sakes, do not vote for Kamala Harris. If you've got a choice, vote for the Constitutional and you don't want Trump. Vote for the Constitutional Party candidate or the Libertarian Party candidate, please. Whatever you do, don't vote for the Democrat Party. Matter of fact, even JFK has told us to vote for Trump. So, you JFK people, it's Trump time now. Anyway, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Laters.